With the recent update, we got tier one EXP packets. In today's video, we're going to talk about explaining these and or explaining how to get these and using them and what the best way of uh, using these are for some people. Not all people, but some people. All right. So tier one uh, EXP packets. There's also tier twos as well that you can get from battle passes, but we're going to talk about tier one as of right now because those are generated every single hour uh, passively without you having to do much. The other one you got to get from battle passes, and those are limited. So you won't get um, infinite of those. So tier one EXP packets, these things right here. When you use these on the ship, it, you get 3000 EXP. So you guys are used to like playing like Princess Connect where you have like um, little EXP potions you toss onto uh, characters and they get EXP. It's kind of like that, right? So I'll go to a random ship. Let me find one randomly. I don't know. Let's go to Valiant, right? Go to Valiant. There's a button right here, boost EXP. I click that and depending on how much EXP I want to get to this ship, it, it goes to 3,000 EXP. So if I use one, it's 3,000 EXP. I use two, 6,000 EXP, and so forth. I can get all the way to whatever the cap is, and it stops. So in this case, it's 36 EXP, and I get to 105. I click confirm, and it's done. Now if you do the auto button, it auto fills to max to the, your current capacity, and that's also a thing you can do as well, right? So that's how you use EXP packets. You can do that all the way to 125 from level one from scratch. You can do that. Now, how you get these e uh, tier one EXP packets is there's giveaways, there's battle passes, there's many ways, but the most common way of getting the tier one EXP packets as of right now is going to be the lecture hall. This thing right here, you see this little floating bubble right here. You click that, boom, plus one EXP um, packet I get from here. So these are going to be passively generated. How you get these is you use level one hundred ships, um, in whatever combat, um, operation sirens or regular campaigns. You won't get them from e um, from uh, from PvP though, so keep that in mind. But you use them, you get them from using uh, low 100 ships in regular content that involves oil, or you can get them from Operation Silence as well. So make sure you use 100 plus ships if you want to farm for proficiency EXP from the lecture hall. Now, how this works is it takes 6,000 EXP per hour. It's going to drain from this bar right here. And while it's draining from this bar, you're going to get production to make the EXP packets. So to put this in simpler terms for you guys to understand, you use the 100 ship, you get you fill up this bar right here. And this bar is, is used to generate EXP packets. And this is your production um, timer as of right here. Once it gets to 3,000, you make one ticket and boom. So on average, you get... Uh, you get about it depends on what kind of it depends on what kind of a uh, lecture hall you have so for example a level one lecture hall gets about uh, 1.1 tier 1 exp packets an hour which is about 26.4 uh, a day a, le a level 10 lecture hall which is what I have as of right now you get two tier 1 exp packets an hour which is 48 a day and if you have a le level 12 which is the current cap as of right now you get 2.2 tier one exp packets an hour which is 52.8 exp packets a day so there's gonna be a lot of math and stuff involved i'll try to put it on my screen for you guys so you guys can uh, follow along or something or you can look on the wiki i'll put the link somewhere in the, in the description or something but it's a lot to take in it's a lot of transfer conversion stuff also you don't want to cap your proficiency because when this caps you're wasting exp and so forth but i think for most people they're going to keep this cap regardless because uh, you're going to be farming like 7-2, 8-4, 12-4, or whatever map you're farming. You're going to be farming those maps. It's pretty much always going to be filled if you're using level 100 ships or higher. So remember that. So with that in mind, uh, you don't want to use all these on one ship instantly. Now, I'm going to say this before I go ahead and explain my strategy and whatnot. But you really don't want to use all these um, EXP packets on one ship in particular. Because for a regular ship that isn't a UR, it takes... Uh, 3,235,675 EXP to hit um, low 120. I'm not going to use 125 as an example as of, as of right now because it is heavily gated with the new uh, cognitive array chips that are very limited to get. So I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use 120 as an example because 120 is still okay for this game as of right now for using uh, to, for doing regular content on a daily basis. So 3.2 million EXP. It is 1,079 tier 1 EXP packets needed to get a regular ship to 120 from scratch. Now, if it's a UR ship, you need uh, 3.8 million EXP, or roughly around there. The total, the accurate amount of needed is 1,260 tier 1 EXP packets needed. 
So if you guys don't know already, in about 30 days on a tier 1 lecture hall, you get 72 tier 1 EXP packets from a level 1 lecture hall. From a level 10 lecture hall, you get 1,440 tier 1 EXP packets. And from a level 12 lecture hall, you get 1,584 EXP packets. All of that is within 30 days. So using that um, analysis right there, in about three weeks to about a month, you should be able to have enough to 120 a ship from scratch, and way more, uh, way enough, uh, way more than enough to 125 a ship from scratch from level 100 uh, for level one. Now, you don't want to do this because if you're gonna skip your way all the way to 120, you have to keep something in mind. There's one thing you didn't uh, um, overlook, aside from perma stats that most people should have uh, maxed out. Hopefully. This thing right here, you have to enhance ship, right? Fill that, max this out. There's also another thing as well, affinity. So when you have a ship at 120 instantly popped over, it doesn't convert the affinity as well. So you have to keep that in mind. You're going to have to grind this out manually. So it's best advice not to max out a ship right away because this is not, not going to be worked on. If you guys don't know already, at love status, you gain a 6% stat bonus on everything. I think friendly is like 3% or something. So it's about a 3% upgrade. If you were to go from stranger, I believe, I think stranger is the base one, to love is 3%. And then if you ring the ship, which is another 100 affinity, that's going to be a 12% overall stat bonus. So it's going to be a 9% overall from stranger to uh, oath at 200 affinity stat gain. And you're not going to get that if you skip if you skip your way from 1 to 125 or whatever. So you want to do some grinding as well too. That's why I made this video. And that's why I'm giving you guys my strategy on how to do this. All right. So, so the strategy I recommend people follow along is to boost your ships, whatever you're using, like backline, vanguard, or whatever, to a certain level. And then start grind that, grind that ship to whatever affinity you need to do. And then at that point, you decide if you want to do... Um, the rest of the grind manually or you can choose to skip ticket all the way to whatever you need to do all right so that's the setup now I recommend in my video like months ago about the leveling guide I had three places to farm and I still stay true to those uh, points as of right now so the three maps I recommended in that one video are gonna be 7-2 for resource farming 8-4 for a little bit of resource farming and um, EXP farming, uh, EXP farming because it's pretty good compared to like the previous map 7-2 because 7-2 if you were if you're doing um, the full clear which I don't recommend it's four uh, it's uh, no not not four it's five mob fights then boss spawn whereas 8-4 is four mob fights then the boss spawn so you get more boss notes there which means you get more resources from the coins and you get more EXP because EX boss notes give more EXP overall. Now you're gonna split you gotta split up the focus though, but if you're doing like two one one setups, it's a pretty good place to farm. So I recommend 8-4. It's a solid map, it's very easy, so a lot of ships should not be struggling with this map. It's good for carriers, good for battleships. It's a very easy map for you to grind and give some pretty decent rewards too, because there's two question mark notes if you choose to pick it up. Otherwise, if you full auto, you're not gonna pick that up. And then the last map is gonna be the 12-4 map. This is for the fast oil dump. You go here, you, you dump all your oil like in one or two hours with double efficiency, and whatnot, and get out of there, right? So this is gonna be the place where if you need EXP, you go here and boom. Alright. So I recommend that people, if you want to get affinity to 100 or 200, grind these map. And I recommend that EXP should boost too. If you're doing 7-2 grinding, which is 3 attack and leave, 3, three sorties, grab the question mark notes and leave, boost to about level 90. So when you boost about level 90, it takes about 210 tier 1 EXP packets. You boost there, you get your affinity or whatever, then you top off whatever you decide to, right? So you go here, and then once you're level 90, it costs 210 tier 1 EXP packets for a regular ship. Not UR, by the way, UR is more expensive, but for a regular ship, it's about 210 uh, tier 1 packets to get a ship from 1 to 90. Then you can start farming 7-2 to 100 affinity and 200 affinity. Then you decide to top off if you want to, or you keep farming to save on tier 1 packets. Remember, guys, there's also a cap of 3,000 EXP packets. So don't let it overflow. Make sure you're always using your EXP packets because if they overflow, you're wasting EXP. And I don't recommend you do that. Now, 8-4, you're going to have 
to boost to about 105. Most ships at 105 should be able to do 8 4 uh, safely. Also, keep in mind that I recommend when you guys farm these maps, keep your threat level at safe. It makes the process of grinding a lot easier. So, I boost about 105. It takes about 467 tier 1 packets. It's about double what you need for uh, 7 2 grinding. But if you want more EXP, you want more, uh, whatchamacallit, efficiency grinding for EXP, uh, double it up and far start farming 8 4. All right. Same as a uh, 12 4. Uh, if you're doing a uh, 12, or not 12, if you're doing six ships for grinding with at 12 4, it's about the same for uh, seven, uh, 8 4. But 8 4, I recommend doing 1 1. Oh, these two maps, by the way, guys, 7 2, 8 4, do 1 1 setups. But for 12 4, uh, if you're going to do fast grinding, do six ships. And for everything six ships, they can be super, uh, they can be lower level, like 105 is fine. So 105, it takes about, again, 467, uh, 467 tier 1 EXP packets. Then you can start grinding here. All right. So you don't need that much investment. You get about, uh, you get about, for some people, like uh, tier 1s, you get about 800. Tier 10, uh, tier 10, tier 12 lecture halls, you get about 1500 a month. So you can probably do this for about maybe three ships a month to 105 boost and then grind somewhere else, which is pretty, which is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Um, you can do that. Or for the 7-2 grinds, you can do about six ships a month for the EXP packets. Now, remember, don't overcap these. You get 3,000 uh, EXP packets that you can hold maximum before you don't get any more. So make sure you're always using them. And advise just do whatever you guys want with them for the most part i give you guys my advice on what i'm going to do with these and that's how i'm going to do it boost the shit up up <laughs> my bad boost the ship up to a certain level get them in uh to grinding at 7 2 or whatever and then i can save my exp packets for other ships to, to do that and so i don't have to worry about topping off a ship from 100, 100 1 to 120 so I make sure I have affinity because if I'm boosting from 1 to 120, they're going to be stranger and they won't have maximum benefits from that. All right, guys. So good luck to everyone grinding. Get you, make sure you, you don't forget about the affinity part. And uh, I will see you guys in my next video where I talk about my actual strategy or maybe a showcase or something. But probably talk about my upcoming strategy with the new changes and whatnot and how I'm going to play the game.